The Little Book of Common Sense Investing by John C. Vogel is a classic guide to smart investing. Vogel, the founder of the Vanguard Group, advocates for low-cost index funds as the most effective way to build wealth over the long term. The book emphasizes simplicity, cost efficiency, and the importance of capturing the market's average return rather than trying to outperform it. Key points and descriptions. 1. The case for indexing. Description. Index funds provide a way to invest in a broad market index, ensuring you get the market's average return with minimal costs. Short story. Jane, a school teacher, was overwhelmed by the complexity of stock picking. After reading Bogle's book, she decided to invest in an S&P 500 index fund. Over the years, her investments grew steadily, outperforming many actively managed funds her friends had chosen. 2. The Relentless Rules of Humble Arithmetic Description The math behind investing shows that low-cost index funds outperform high-cost actively managed funds over time. Short story Mark, an engineer, was skeptical about the high fees charged by his mutual fund. He switched to a low-cost index fund and noticed that his returns improved significantly. The savings on fees compounded over time, boosting his overall wealth. 3. Minimizing Costs Description Keeping investment costs low is crucial for maximizing returns. High fees and expenses can erode your investment gains. Short story, Sarah, a young professional, was paying high fees for her investment advisor. After learning about the impact of costs on returns, she moved her investments to a low-cost index fund. The reduction in fees allowed her to save more and grow her portfolio faster. 4. The Power of Compounding Description Compounding returns over time is a powerful force in building wealth. Starting early and staying invested are key. Short story, Tom, a college student, started investing a small amount in an index fund. By the time he reached his 40s, the power of compounding had significantly grown his initial investment. His early start gave him a substantial financial cushion. 5. The Fallacy of Market Timing Description Trying to time the market is a losing strategy. Consistent, long-term investing in index funds is more effective. Short story Emma, a nurse, tried to time the market based on news and predictions. She often bought high and sold low, losing money in the process. After switching to a buy-and-hold strategy with index funds, her investments stabilized and grew steadily. 6. The Impact of Taxes Description Taxes can significantly reduce investment returns. Index funds are tax-efficient, making them a better choice for long-term investors. Short story, Alex, a small business owner, was frustrated by the taxes on his investment gains. He switched to index funds, which had lower turnover and generated fewer taxable events. This change helped him keep more of his returns. 7. The Importance of Diversification Description Diversification reduces risk by spreading investments across a wide range of assets. Index funds inherently provide diversification. Short story. Maria, a retiree, had her savings in a few individual stocks. When one of the companies went bankrupt, she lost a significant portion of her savings. She then diversified her investments into index funds, which spread her risk across many companies and sectors. Conclusion The Little Book of Common Sense Investing offers timeless advice on building wealth through simple, low-cost index funds. By following Bogle's principles, investors can achieve consistent, long-term growth while minimizing risks and costs. The book underscores the importance of patience, discipline, and a focus on the long-term horizon. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for new future videos.